Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mixture of just straight up simming games, seeing the box office, especially this first game since it already happened in real life. Uh, we're gonna make sure we can get in and play the moments just to see how it feels in this year's game. Because based off of last year, man, a lot of rushing attempts. It seemed like every time you played the moments, it was 35 plus rushing attempts and stuff like that. And really, really fluky. Like I said, it felt like it was staged, kind of. Like there's a script that it felt fall most, most of the time. So we're going to see how that really works out. Plus, we're going to do some damn roster decisions. And we don't have to make our cuts immediately because one of the few seldom improvements for Connected Franchise Mode this year that I did like is you don't have to cut your players until the final week. So that gives you know a little bit more realism. And you can see if anyone does want to stand out during your preseason matchups. But first thing is first, let's take a quick look here at the roster. Uh, you know, this is my fifth time recording this because I've had some issues. So I already know what I'm going to do in terms of tweaking. First thing is first, we know that Mutt, the, the ratings guy, is a Cowboys fan. And we can see that Carson Wentz only has no normal developmental trait. Carson and um, Dak Prescott has quick. So we're giving Carson Wentz a quick. That was ridiculous that I saw that. Uh, another one that we want to do is we have to remove Ryan Matthews. That's not quite updated yet. Uh, also, for those of you guys that aren't playing strictly with the Eagles, if you want to try to have a decent save, uh, the Jordan Matthews, Ronald Darby trade, the Sammy Watkins going to the Bills or the Rams story, those trades aren't done. So make those before you start your franchise modes because the most updated Madden roster that you're going to get probably on release won't have those moves done. And then come draft time, you're probably going to try to figure out a way to compensate the Bills. But that just letting you know. Uh, there's only yeah only two three guys I updated in terms of my ratings one was giving Wentz the quick development Another one is Matt Collins who a lot of Eagle fans are high on right now that he's gonna develop into Just an absolute monster, but the one attribute that absolutely needs to get fixed is his stiff arm one of the nastiest stiff arms I've ever seen so we're gonna give him 87 stiff arm. I don't think it's gonna fluctuate his rating too much He went from a 69 up now he's a 71. He's an absolute beast. Aguilar to 73 is very debatable. Uh, I, I'm already telling you right now, we're rolling with Hollins as our starting slot wide receiver. And the last rating that we needed to kind of modify here a little bit is Jordan Hicks. 85 is ridiculous for, in my opinion, like the second best cover linebacker in football. Uh, so what we're going to do is get bump up his speed a little bit, bump up his press. He is like a tremendous... Like we're, not, we're, just, we're just going for the lower attributes here. I think 87 is where he should be. Uh, well, there we go. 87 is fair for him. Uh, we got Kendricks there. We got Darby, Robinson, Sidney Jones. One thing I don't like is I don't like they gave Sidney Jones normal. If you give, he's like, debatably the second best corner in this year's class. And people are giving like bullshit about, oh, he's Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith had quick. So we're giving Sidney Jones quick. Jalen Mills is higher than the 71. Um, so I'm just bumping the two stats that he would have. He would have a little bit more than 65 awareness because he started. A lot of games last year. And we're going to bump his play rack into the low 70s. That's it. Should bump him up to about, I think he should be below a 75. 73 is a fair grade for him. Uh, 78 for Robinson is a little high, but we'll just leave that as is. Uh, the only other rating I've kind of flipped back and forth on is Malcolm Jenkins at an 85. I think he should be higher than that as an Eagle fan. I mean, as a, statistically speaking, he wasn't tremendous last year, but he played a lot of safety and corner hybrid. Uh, he was doing a lot of the job so that we didn't look as bad as we could have in the secondary, but I guess 85 is fair enough for our main roster. We'll leave it as is for now, and let's jump into some of the preseason games. We're going to sim this one right away after we answer this delicious media question from this cutie. Oh, we got swiped. We thought it was going to be that Fox and it's Larry Ridley with the lisp. Having been a fan of this team your entire life, is there some concern you might be too emotional or too involved to let your football do people do their jobs? How do you respond? Great to see that they have different questions. That would take so much effort. Oh, wait. These are the same questions as last year. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with this one. We'll go with the most fan-friendly looking answer because, you know, we're acting like the hypothetically. Beast Mode TV got that KSI YouTube money and I was able to buy the Philadelphia Eagles. At least a stake in the Philadelphia Eagles. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to sim this game against the Packers because it already happened. And then next week's game, which is actually tonight's in real life preseason game against the Bills, I will bust out some play of the moments. So let's jump right in, see how we do against the Packers. Maybe we don't lose this time and maybe Matt McGloin doesn't throw 45 checkdowns. Who knows? All right, so in this first game against Green Bay Packers, played out kind of similar to how we saw in real life. We fell to them 22 to 16. Uh, more importantly, I kind of want to look at my player stats. Uh, we got Wentz, clean game, I'll take that. And Beast Foles, who didn't feature in the regular game, 128 yards, one touchdown, one pick. 
uh, in terms of running the ball, Sproles, Blunt got himself a touchdown. That's all right to see. Our run game definitely looked better in this and Madden than they did in real life. In terms of receiving, Brent Selleck, five catches, 64 yards, and a touchdown. Corey Smith with 57 yards. I'm not seeing any crazy stiff arms here from Matt Collins. That's disappointing. Uh, blocking, who gave up some sacks? What do we got? Two sacks from Taylor Hart, who was converted from a defensive tackle to the right tackle. Uh, and on the defensive side of things, Nate Gary with eight total tackles on the day. Uh, we got two sacks from Derek Barnett, which is exactly what happened in real life. I'd like to see that. And Gabe right here has one total sack. And we got an interception from Corey Graham, the depth sign that we recently got from the Buffalo Bills. So I, I, there are definitely some positives. I like seeing Derek Barnett there getting the second sack. You never want to lose, but it is the preseason. So as long as you can get out healthy, that is all that counts. So now we're playing the Buffalo Bills, both 0-1. And I really want to play the moments in this game. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to take over. See if that's improved or it still sucks. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, let's see what. Let's jump right into it. Two feet in, two scoops up your poop shoe. All right, here we go. Play the moments. We're not going to touch this game, I feel, because the third preseason game is always the, the game you actually, you know, see the starters play. We'll do play the moments next week and actually come in on big moments this one here is more so let's just see what happens when the computer plays the entirety of the game how's the offense balance i hope that god i don't see like i want to see less than 30 rushing attempts especially here in the preseason uh so already down seven to nothing here against buffalo we are at home in the link and buffalo scored quickly there come on looking like we're struggling here 17 to 7 here we're trying to get some score at the end of the first half did not not looking great here in the rain. The Philadelphia Eagles are struggling. But then we always know that the best teams don't do well in the preseason. The teams that do good in the preseason are usually going to be shit. Because the Philadelphia Eagles are always, you know, I say sarcastically, the preseason Super Bowl champions. And we haven't done shit since like 2010. So uh, we're definitely struggling here with our backups. Buffalo is working us pretty hard. 23 to 10 thus far. That's pro. Oh, shit. There we go, Ace. We have some respect, and we get a late touchdown, but too little, too late. Little sick graphics of Nick Foles. Get that guy some lip chap. His face is looking real chapped. Well, let's look at this. Oh, for the love of God, have accurate. Just don't have crazy stat lines. All right, let's look at the Eagles here. On the day, Wentz, clean performance once again, just getting in and out. Looks like he probably played two drives there. Beast Foles, similar stat line, 123 yards, touchdown, and an interception. Passing here, I like to see 29 attempts. That looks pretty damn good, but please for the rushing attempts. Wow! I mean, it is the preseason, so it's going to be kind of hard to get an accurate judge. But look at me. There we go. 11, 11, 3, and 2. That is an appropriate amount of times to run the ball and play the moments. Whereas last year, you know, you see numbers. That would be probably 24, 25, something like that. So that is good to see. Uh, Selleck and Gibson had decent games. Paul Primetime Turner got himself a pass, uh, receiving touchdown. On the defensive side of the ball, two and a half sacks BG, one and a half sack Timmy Jernigan, Barnett get a half sack, Corey Graham, Fletcher Cox, and Chris Long. Do we have any picks? No interceptions on the day, so a disappointing defeat to the Bills, but all in all, we're definitely feeling much farther ahead because the play of the moments seems to be, at least for the preseason, to be much more balanced than what it was in Madden 17. And if you guys watched any of my videos last year, we know we play the moments quite a bit, so that is an added improvement. Again, not really something I want to say. Oh, connected franchise mode's absolutely crazy because the play of the moments is somewhat realistic this year. Again, don't want to be Mr. Negative. Still feeling like connected franchise mode in Madden 18 is a glorified patch update. But that being said, we're going to play next week's preseason matchup, week three. Play the moments, but we're actually going to take over and try to get a little bit of game time with the Philadelphia. All right, here we go. Preseason game number three. Play the moments. We're actually going to take over here a little bit. Play some of the notable moments. Again, it is preseason. I don't want to put too much into it. Um, I guess I don't. I want to save some of my takes on Madden for my review, which will be coming out Sunday. Uh, but what I can say is the cheese plays for sure in last year's game are not the cheese plays no longer. Oh, my God. I got to deal with the settings. I don't want the, the X buttons here. I uh, like the corner routes. I, I'm telling you right now, the the, the like if you get press coverage, you know, last year, you know, just thinking back to the pink slips, if you're going for four verticals and you saw press coverage, you knew it was going to be pretty damn likely that your guy was going to beat him off the line and just beat him deep. Definitely drastically changed this year. Uh, as we're giving some different looks here with LeGarrette Blunt lining up as the fullback. You know, it's preseason, time to get a little wonky. Let's get weird, in the words of workaholics. 
Um, I mean, obviously the shading's different, the lighting, they always do that every game to try to make it look different on base appearance. You can clearly see uh, that's what they did. I'm going to say that, oh my god, eat the sack there. Um, still have to work on the sliders. Sliders are still a work in progress. Hopefully by the time we get to the regular season, I have appropriate uh, not only gameplay sliders, but XP sliders. I will share those with you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to at least experiment with what were the top sliders in last year's game. Uh, for sure, XP-wise. Uh, then we'll rock and roll with that. Let's go with the... Oh, there's full shift yet. I do like the running. I will say first thing is first, that the run game seems much more improved. Look at the shadows on these players. The shadows. That's what people were ye yelling at the rafters. If we don't get some shadows on our players here... I'm not, I don't even want to touch this game, you know? Let's go and see. We'll go for another just simple check down here. I don't know why the X and stuff is popping up over their head. I'm, again, I'm probably have to go into uh, the visual settings. Like, we just we just picked this up for the preseason sake of things. I hate that. It's like, hey, hold X to get rack catch. No, thank you very much. I'm good. I know what, I know what I'm doing. Let's go with Garrett. Oh, the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line unable to pick up the blitz very much to what happened in real life against the Green Bay Packers, where O-line did not play well. Let's see if we can get in the bite here on the play action pass on second and goal and get our first official Carson Wentz touchdown on the Madden 18 season. There we go. Let's take it in. Oh, I'm saying right now, QB running is very overpowered. Uh, we are going on all Madden. No, you know, base all Madden sliders. I'd have to assume that Rex and those guys, you know, the EA team that's constantly on Twitter, not very good, because I remember Rex, like, I'm using all post sliders, and he freaking goes, like, he still loses seven, six, seven games and stuff like that. That must not be that good. And I'm definitely no hot shit when it comes to Madden either. Like, I would say, you know, I could probably body 50, a half of you. Half of you guys would probably kick my ass, and I'd body the other half of you. So, right, let's see what we can do here. Is it Aguilar? Does he drop it? Oh, okay, it's not realistic at all. If Nelson Aguilar's not dropping passes, I can tell you that right now. Uh, we'll just finish up this drive and then we'll play the rest of the moments because, you know, it is... Well, you know what? Fuck that. We'll play the moments for the entirety of the first half because that's pretty much what happens in real life. You're, you give your starters, at least in my opinion, you should give your starters uh, in the third preseason game a lot of work in the second half as Cam Wake is just feasting on Jason Peters. Definitely like the player models a little bit. Looks pretty uh, muscular, looks pretty vascular. Looks like he worked out arms before the game started. You know, stuff like that. Um, wait, I'll give you guys a good look here at Slants. We got Torrey Smith, our fastest wide receiver. Watch what happens. Like, he just, it takes them forever to get beat, like, to beat their man off the line. He threw it up. Torrey Smith drops it. Tough contested catch, but you can already see uh, the animation is different, which will have a drastic change on really how you run the, that four verticals. Let's go, with Caleb. Oh, that's not a great kick. Oh, man, blocked the kicks back. That's awesome. Glad we got this. this is Rashad Jones, who's somehow playing special teams in the preseason, is able to return that block kick back for a touchdown. I'm so glad that block kicks are back. You know, all of what? Five block kicks last year in the NFL. I mean, I'm so glad that's still a feature in Madden. Uh, very glad, actually. I mean, I'm ecstatic. So pumped that that's still here, guys. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think about in the comment section below, huh? Engaging my subscribers. You guys love the fact that block kicks are still a thing? God, heaven forbid we got, you know, coaching carousel or, or, or customizable draft classes. No, we got blocking kicks as Darren Sproles jukes the living shit out of that guy. Very nice. Um, yeah, that, was, that was fucking beastly run right there. All right, red zone. Once again, let's see if we can actually get a passing touchdown. The first passing touchdown for Carson Wentz. I assume he's still in. Yep. They did say that was one of the improvements. They gave more realistic feel to the preseason, which is what I'm kind of feeling. Why not just take off again with our monster QB? Get it up on the one. Oh, shit. We're on the one. You know what the one calls for? We may not have our first passing touchdown with Carson Wentz, but when you get on the one... Let's see if you know what play is still overpowered. If not, I have lost one of my very powerful gimmicks uh, in the Madden realm. All right, let's see. We get to see who's our running back. We got Darren Sproles as our starter. I mean, I probably will eventually go with Blunt as my starter because it's a little more realistic. And the C4 special is just as overpowered as before. So thank you, EA. You must be watching my videos because you look like you took all the other overpowered plays and nerfed them to shit. But that is definitely a play I can get behind as long as, you know, you keep supporting me. 
Uh, let's get one defensive play in here. Let's see what happens with our starters. Maybe Derek Burnett's in. We have three turnovers. The Philadelphia Eagles do. Not me. I don't know how that's happening. Let's see if we am using Fletcher Cox. Am I feeling like another 28 and a half sack season here? Well, I'm using Cox. Okay, well, good play there on third and four. Uh, haven't played a whole lot of defense, to be completely honest with you, so my opinion on that is somewhat limited. Um, let's let them start this drive off here. Nothing happened. All right, let's just finish out this game. You know, you got, like I said, it is what it is. It does feel more like a glorified patch than a brand new game. Um, but there's nothing you can do. Like, if you want to play another football game, what do you got to do? You, gotta just, you know, you got NCAA 14. You can, you know, go check out my updated roster that you can definitely use. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of other options here. Unless you want to play that stupid, like, Axis football bullshit. That, uh, oh, third down. Third and seven. Oh, third and seven. Okay, let's just see. Here's a great example. Let's run four verticals and see what happens. Hopefully we got Mac Hans out there so we can just stiff arm the living shit out of somebody. Do we? Gibson. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to throw up the Hans. Probably going to be an interception. Glorified punt anyway. Ten seconds left. Or actually, we can throw it inside. The Paul Pro oh, Paul, Paul, Paul Turner does not drop passes like that. Fourth and I don't want that. Is it going to go to OT? Give the shit. And this. There we go. We won the game. We won our first preseason game. We saw some of the play of the moments there. I mean, what else could I probably show you here real quick? I mean, I guess available free agents, top guys that you may want to look at. Uh, not a whole lot there. I mean, Denard Robinson, some young guys. Uh, we oh, my God. Larry, uh, fuck off. I hate this game. They're still making terrible cuts. Like, he, Larry Ogunjobi, it was like a third-round pick. Caleb Brantley. All right, well, we might as well go through this because we might be able to snipe a couple good players here. Uh, okay, well, we're good at quarterback. What do we get for running back? Denard Robinson. Tariq Cohen is on special, like, practice squad. Marlon Mack, practice squad. Both those guys. Wayne Gallman, practice squad. Like, none of those guys should be there. I mean, I'm not going to get one. We're fine at running back. But Cohen is a beast, man. I, I'm really tempted to actually get Terry Cohen. I think he's going to be dope. I mean, we have to take advantage. If they're going to be dumb, well, it'd, be a, it'd be the wrong thing to not take advantage. I would much rather Terry Cohen on my roster uh, than Wendell Smallwood. So we'll just snipe him. Uh, fullback. I mean, we're looking all right here at fullbacks. I mean, the super back there, Danny Vitale. Uh, wide receiver, we got DGB. I mean, that's always going to be an OP guy. You guys can try to snipe. We got Chad Williams got cut. He's fuck. What is he? Like the third round pick. Second or third round pick on the Arizona Cardinals got cut. Wh How hard is it to implement some decent AI, man? Kevin White got cut. Devin Cody Latimer. Trent Taylor. Chad Hansen. But Cody. Co why didn't, we, didn't, we just generically signed Cody Core from Ole Miss. Good signing. I like that. But, oh, my God, man. Alrighty, we're already this far in. I'm pissed off with some of these, some of these damn things that, some of these damn moves that we made. Now, what do we got tight end? Again, a bunch of these pro really unrealistic cuts. Jeremy, well, I mean, I don't think Nick Boyle will get cut yet, especially with how rough shape the Ravens' tight ends are. Offensive linemen, it's gonna be. I don't think they're gonna any O linemen are gonna get cut. Usually, they're fairly decent in judging and evaluating offensive lines. Sam Brayo getting cut from the Broncos is kind of surprising. Uh, nothing real crazy there. How about this one? Like, yes, okay. I'm gonna sign Larry Ogunjobi to my team. He's a 75D tackle. Thank you, Caleb Brantley. Stevie, T okay. Here, Julia, like, what the? Okay, I guess we can't pick off practice squads. We're gonna sign Caleb Brantley, and then we're gonna throw Ogunjobi on the practice squad because Gator bias. You know what it is. Right defensive and Deshaun Hall straight up just got cut. Welcome to the team. Thank you for the rookies. Don't be an idiot and cut your really good rookies. <laughs> uh, left the side linebacker Cassius Daddy Nicholas. Eh, no one's really that big there. Middle linebacker Scooby Wright. I mean, I'm happy with. I mean, ah, oh. we're gonna side Scooby Wright. Thank you for coming to the team. Right outside linebacker, nothing much. Alex Anzalone, another Gator. All right, we're going to have to sign Alex Anzalone here. Just improving our depth all around the board. At corner, LeBlanc. I better not see anything stupid. Real dumb here. Cameron Sutton got cut. I mean, can we sign him to a practice squad? I don't know how that works. We're going to get Cam Sutton on the practice squad. Thanks for coming. And 100% best believe 
that we're adding Jalen Myrick, who's one of the most overpowered looking players. He's on my top 10 sleepers list. We'll add him to the main roster. Tedrick Thompson got cut 70. We're not going to sign all these guys, like I said. We're, we, we are running with a salary cap here. But look, Xavier Woods got cut from the Cowboys. And they just ran the sign up. He's one of those OP guys, too, from uh, the, the OP Cowboy ratings. Yeti Jackson. I'm not going to try to snipe guys uh, on practice squads. Now, even though we did fleece a little bit, sign some practice squad players. We're now looking fine. Thank you guys for watching what was going to be the debut episode of the Philadelphia Eagles Connected Franchise Mode, but I've just peeped on Twitter and I've seen people say you should not start an offline franchise mode. Online is the only way to go until release and some patches come through. So I was like, all right, I already recorded this, but still there is some good footage, some good nuggets in here for you guys to check out. Uh, as always, ask me any questions you want to know about Connected Franchise Mode. I will try my best to answer them. If this is your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, C4 saying peace out.